Kia ora, kia ho. Hello, mate. Welcome to Homemade Let's Cook. Today we're making cafe style orange and poppy seed creams. The first thing that we're going to do, because we need to let, let this sit for about 10 minutes, and I've had a little bit of a head start, we've got a tablespoon of poppy seeds, the juice of one orange, and the rind from one orange in here as well. And when I say rind, I mean grated orange rind. You can use less, but I tend to find that it doesn't make the biscuits as rich in that orange flavor that you may wish to have. So the first thing that we're going to do cooking wise is we've got 100 grams of margarine. And I've got olivani, so these can be dairy free and two thirds of a cup of caster sugar. And just gonna quickly clean those together. It doesn't take very long, of course. And it's a beautiful warm day here today, even though it's the um, start of winter. And of course, there's nothing better than a nice chunky cream biscuit and a cup of tea, morning or afternoon tea time. I can even squeeze it in after dinner. All right, they're gonna have an egg. So we'll just pop that in there. Now we're using two flours today. We're using self-raising flour and plain flour. You're going to need half a cup of self-raising and one cup of plain. Or if you wish to, you could use one and a half cups of plain flour and just use half a teaspoon of baking powder. So that comes together nicely. Now, the thing we're going to do next is we've, we've soaked these for 10 minutes now. We're certainly assuming that we have. So in that goes. Now, I'm looking for a bit of colour in this recipe because I think these biscuits look pretty amazing if they're a really bright orange colour. Now, you don't quite get that from just the mixture that you've, that you've got just there. So, I wouldn't suggest doing this if, um, if you don't wish to, but, and orange food colouring, is very difficult to come by. I haven't managed to come by it here, but you may have access to it. So some orange food coloring. I'm using a combination of red and yellow, and I found that you have to use a reasonable amount. So if you don't wish to use food coloring or food additives, then please just leave it out. So I'm going to do at least six drops of red always put in more later if you want to and six drops of yellow sometimes it ends up being a peachy color and that's absolutely fine as well so that's a bit more of an orange color that I was that I was after You'll notice that it's curdled a little bit, but that's certainly not, not a problem at all. I haven't got any ice and sugar out on the bench yet, but these are cream biscuits, so they're sandwich biscuits, and we will be creaming them together just with some buttercream. All right, so now goes in our flour. Our oven is on, of course. That's just on moderate. And these biscuits shouldn't take too long to cook, around 15 minutes. Um, keep an eye on them. You want them firm to the touch. That's what I'll say about that. And you also want to make sure that this um, mixture here is not too wet potentially not too dry. It can be a little bit wet, um, but you might find it difficult to, to shape um, the biscuits. The good thing about this mixture though, is that even if you don't put perfect circles of mixture, 
still come out in a really nice, nice circle. So, depending on what size you want your biscuits to be, and they, you know, cafe style, they can be a little bit on the jumbo side. About a heaped teaspoon. If you find that it's a little bit wet and you find it a little bit uncomfortable in your hands, just add a little bit more flour. Of course, you want to get your sizing approximately right because you want to sandwich like with like together. Well, it doesn't matter if you don't. So they will spread a little bit and they will rise a little bit as well. Now it's starting to get a little bit tricky here on my hands, so I might just add a little bit more flour. And sometimes you've just got to do that, don't you? I mean, you know, if you've used a different size egg or, or something like that, you know, your, your um, mixture can be a little bit wetter or a little bit drier than, than you were expecting. So I don't, I don't see any problem in going to the cupboard and grabbing some more dry ingredients if we need to. And also it depends how much food colouring you put in as well, because that's liquid too. I'm going to try not to make these too big. I have made them too big in the past, but don't think anyone really complains. They're a little bit like a Monte Carlo biscuit, really. But they've got a lovely citrusy taste to them. So I'm just going to keep going with these. As you'll see, they're a little bit spiky and that is not going to be a problem. Of course, the bigger these are, the fewer we're going to make, but that doesn't matter. I think you'll find most cafe style biscuits are rather large. And I don't think anyone's complaining. All right, so I've just got a couple more left to do and then I'm going to go into the oven. And while they're baking, we'll quickly come back and just do that buttercream. I'll see you in a sec. Welcome back. So, I'm just going to pre-prepare the filling. So I've just got about a cup of icing sugar, a tablespoon of margarine. I'm sticking with the margarine for our dairy-free friends. So obviously you want a dairy-free margarine. And here it's called Olivani. Well, that's one of the brands we've got anyway. That's made with olive oil. You may have something equivalent where you are. And we've also got the, another large squeeze of orange juice in there as well. But you could make it a vanilla filling if you wanted. Now, I would also like to add a bit of colour to this one. Now, I haven't made a whole heap of icing for the middle. And that's because, well, my biscuits are fairly big, so we probably don't need much filling for them but I can always make some more. So that's a little bit dry at this stage. However, what I am gonna do is add the food coloring. And of course, again, that is optional. You may not wish to have food coloring in your food. And I've just got four drops of each this time. And I am quite a Vivid orange, probably, and that small amount of mixture. It's kind of a peachy colour, actually, which is actually quite attractive. And being a warm day, of course, as well, that makes it so it's a little. Okay, 
and that's come together nicely there and that's nice and thick and um, obviously we'll have to wait for our biscuits to cool down before we sandwich them together so I'll be back shortly so these are ready to come out I'm actually going to leave them on the trays for at least five minutes until they cool quite a, quite a bit before lifting them off and putting them on the wire racks and then I'll pull them down some more before we sandwich them together back soon So now's the fun part where we get to sandwich things together and see what our final product looks like. Up to you how much filling you put in the middle. But with a cafe style biscuit, you probably want to put a little bit more than normal. Plus it's such a beautiful color as well. Still haven't managed to get a really good orange colour for our biscuits, but I think it's okay. Of course, you might not be using food colouring anyway, so yours will be of a more natural colouring. And of course, sometimes when your food colouring does go in the oven, it does have a habit of changing colour slightly as well. Sometimes a little bit different than you might expect. Now you can keep these in an airtight container and they should be firm for all the family. And certainly they're a little bit more than a mouthful which is great too. Alright, so I'm going to continue sandwiching these together and then put together a presentation plate as well. Thanks for joining me for Homemade Let's Cook. Please join me again. Ka kite anō.